fire is one of the most familiar processes in all of nature. It has served man for at least 6,000 centuries and has been instrumental in his progress. Fire has also threatened man for at least 6,000 centuries and produced untold tragedy. In the United States alone, the cost of fire is thousands of deaths, tens of thousands of injuries, and billions of dollars every year. Fire is such a complex chemical reaction that we still have much to learn about it. We have come to realize that any fire must have three basic components. It must have a material or fuel which is combustible, for example, the paraffin of a candle. It must have an agent, often the oxygen in the atmosphere, which will react chemically with the fuel to produce combustion. Then there must be an ignition source, perhaps a common kitchen match, to raise the temperature of the fuel high enough to initiate the combustion process. There are, of course, almost endless combinations of fuels, agents, and ignition sources. This vastly complicates efforts to protect people from fire. In the nation's manned spaceflight program, protection is complicated even more by still other factors. The enriched oxygen atmosphere of the spacecraft, for example, would greatly intensify burning, especially in comparison with Earth's atmosphere, which is only about one-fifth oxygen. Spaceflight materials not only have to be flame resistant, they also have to be comfortable and safe for the astronauts. They have to be able to withstand the vacuum, the temperature extremes, the radiation of space. There was simply no way to meet the requirements except by advancing basic technology, a job undertaken by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, and dozens of industrial organizations. The outcome was first a standardized set of practical flammability tests. This meant that materials could all be measured by the same criteria. The flammability characteristics of hundreds of materials, designs, equipment layouts, and fire control methods were investigated and results compiled in a data bank. New and higher standards were established this in itself stimulating new developments. A number of screening tests were performed, for materials had to be more than flame resistant. They had to be durable, for instance. The technology of fire control has been so advanced that the significance is only beginning to be recognized. The improvement and development of fire resistant fabrics is one major area of progress. In the Apollo spacecraft, the fabric used most extensively is beta cloth, a fiberglass material manufactured in a variety of forms. It is in itself quite resistant to flame, and it can be combined with other materials to increase its usefulness. A new fiber called PBI is used for spacecraft webbing, tapes, and cords. It is non-flammable in air and only slightly flammable in pure oxygen. Yet it still has the kind of strength and flexibility required. A fabric made from the widely known Teflon has been used for the astronauts' flight coveralls. Like PBI, Teflon is non-flammable in air. The material used in flight bags and kits is made up of Teflon-coated beta cloth combined with asbestos fabric and aluminum foil. On the Apollo spacesuit, a fabric woven of metallic fibers and called Chromel R or Karma is used in areas most susceptible to wear. The fabric is both fire resistant and highly durable. There are also a number of new fabrics which are being evaluated for future manned spaceflight programs, 
For example, Durette, which is fire resistant in air and has excellent material properties. Fipro, a fire resistant fiber which also has excellent material properties. And Kynol, a material used for an experimental fire safety suit which saved the life of a race driver who got trapped in a burning car. In essence, the new fabrics are full of promise, but they are only a part of the whole picture. Another advancement is a new type of paper developed by a German firm. Amazingly fire resistant when compared with conventional papers, the new type was used experimentally during the second Apollo lunar landing mission. There are new potting or insulating compounds which are used to encapsulate spacecraft electrical components. Non-flammable and highly durable, they help prevent outbreak of electrical fires. There is a newly developed flame-resistant substance called fluorocarbon elastomer. It comes in a variety of forms, for instance, as a spray, a molding compound, a paste, or a paint. And the potential number of uses seems unbounded. A combination of fluoropolymer and asbestos has been developed, which can be used to paint structural wood, greatly increasing its resistance to flame. It is such developments that add up to considerable progress in the art of protecting people from fire. And the possibilities of combining the developments for even greater improvements have scarcely been explored. Obviously, many of the advancements by NASA and industry are not limited to protecting astronauts in spaceflight. They can also be used to protect ordinary people in ordinary surroundings on Earth. In the construction of homes and buildings, for instance, fire resistance can be built in. Not only can wooden components be fireproof, there are new developments in such things as insulations. Wall panels. Drapery materials. paints, and many other materials which will keep us safer from fire. In hospitals, experimental beta cloth garments and linens already under field test will prove especially useful when patients are treated in an atmosphere of 100% oxygen. In transportation, our automobiles could be made safer, for instance, by using more fire-resistant seat covering and lining materials. Racing car drivers, who often lead the way in automotive safety, are wearing and testing newly developed flame-resistant coveralls. In another field test, the space agency has refurbished one of its aircraft, outfitting it with new materials. One company has completely refurbished one of its executive aircraft with the fire-resistant fabric known as Durette. The original upholstery, curtains, and baggage compartment liners were replaced. In other developments, seat cushion material, which normally is highly flammable, has been virtually fireproof by treatment with fire-retardant chemicals. The process would only cost about a dollar for each seat in an aircraft. Several American and European airlines are already using treated woolen seat upholstery to increase safety for their passengers and crews. Other research has been devoted to increasing the safety of aircraft structures, especially the crew compartments and passenger cabins. Major emphasis has been to delay the time of flame breakthrough into the interior. In yet another application, new garments have been developed for use in dangerous situations, such as rescuing people from fires. 
One type of the garments, used by rescue personnel at the Kennedy Space Center, is made of a material known as Nomex and has a highly heat-reflective aluminum coating. It will protect the wearer from high temperatures for short periods of time. For some time, the NASA Manned Spacecraft Center has been working with Metropolitan Fire Departments to develop new and safer firefighting suits. The center has, in fact, fabricated several experimental suits made up of five layers of newly developed flame-resistant fabrics. The suits have been tested by the Houston Fire Department under field conditions. In this instance, an intentionally set jet fuel fire. Near the fire, temperatures were in the range of 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It is becoming increasingly apparent that there are major implications in our newfound abilities to protect ourselves and our property from fire. Although many of the new materials are expensive to produce at present, the costs can be lowered as production techniques improve and quantities increase. As innovations take hold, industries will not only be turning out new products, they will also be changing basic approaches to manufacturing and construction. As fire hazards decrease, insurance rates could be significantly lowered. Property and business losses could be substantially reduced. And most importantly, lives could be saved and injuries avoided. Fire under control. A contribution by man in space to man on Earth.